He's already dropped his on Xbox, and now Astralis is going to try and pinch into middle. Smoke fading, Res getting tapped from lower. How do they even see him? Astralis, they're out through mid, and with a pick, Twist is dead. That might draw rotations, but Astralis aren't taking mid as they jump up the catwalk. NIP fall back into a 2-2 setup, regaining that long control, but funnily enough, that's exactly where Astralis are going. Yeah, look at Res. He's set up for the shot. He's going to get Goosh. That's going to force him to back away here. You look at an 8 HP Res, and you think, well, what can be done here? Surely not can do something. Nope, not gonna happen. Rez, though, he's got something to say. Still a little fight with him. He backs off into the spawn, and we look at Harry Russell in this moment for extreme guidance. Yeah, extreme guidance, man. Well, Plopsky, oh, he's already been dinked over towards Shaw. And that's the thing, man. These Glocks have just been headshotting everyone on the first peak, it feels like, which has left Rez and Plopsky very, very low in this retake. I'm just going to start to get that bomb planted. NIP with two from Cat and one creeping up through CT. Hampus now spotted. They know about him. And they've even got Device coming in on this late lurk in through the catwalk. That could have these... Oh, well, Magisk is like, ha, 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 Device, man. You ain't getting them. You ain't getting them. As he takes them both down, S-Tag is there to help out. And Astralis, they do find themselves the pistol round. Montaigne. Oh, nice. And Yukon. Gone over our geography, but now uh, we need to look towards something else as this fast B plays come in. And that there was the ultimate get out of jail free card. Looking towards something else is device down here in middle. Into this four on three for Astralis. And the bomb down NIP, you won't believe it. You won't believe what's going to happen here in their first rifle oh, round. Oh no, you don't say it. Might have to be a save, Trace. I know you don't like those words. Raz. No rush to this one. See if he can get more than one. S tag as well, nice. jumping through the air. Reds. Oh dear, it's messy. It's not pretty, but it is a 3K. Might be able to find the fourth and the orb that's dropped at his feet. Going back against Magis, he will fall. And so no AWP save for NIP, but great economical damage. Yeah. Huh. Flashed in through the smoke. That's going to get tossed on through by Hampus. And he's Ooh. trying to find something through the smoke. He gets very, very close. And there it is. The killing blow on a Dupree. Wow. Magisk is clearly loving this new jersey, though. He's 10 and 1 right now. Gets his first death here in round number six. But in doing so, he was able to secure the entries into this B site. There's a bit of a standoff here between the orps of Device and Glaive trying to hold down these rotations. That's a filthy angle. That's wow. only a leg, though. Glaive not getting the killing below he was looking for and then gets tagged oh. a bit in response. Device now in through mid. Twist get a 180 and gets the better of him. S-Tag left in the clutch. There's still a player coming through the tunnels, but S-Tag, he's got it down to the 1v1 and he's just hiding. He's not giving the fight over. Rez desperately trying to deal with him and S-Tag, <laughs> he's just being cheeky with it. Oh he's getting my. peaky with it. And there's the round for Astralis. Six on the board. Can you really be with only pistols? Oh, Twist shooting a little premature there. But that has given it up. And oh. Wow, what a shot from Device. That's actually going to end Twist's life down there towards Long A. And it's going to begin this hit. 20 seconds left on the clock. Now, Astralis know they're up against these pistols, so they can go through just a little bit more easily. I say that. Plofsky with a big wrap around on the back lines. He's not the only one. Hampus. You asked who he was, and well, here he is. 12 seconds left on the clock, and he's going to get erased by S-Tag. So, 7-0. Going to throw a Molotov there towards the card, and maybe slow down a straw. It's 25 seconds on the clock. They can go for the cross. Will they? It looks like they're going to try. Glaive's going to get found in said crossing. And he's not the only one. In fact, this might be the first NIP round. They're going to go for the plant. Shouldn't be a big problem, but Device has got a lot to cover here. I'm just oh. not seeing Plopsky peeking off catwalk and the elbow belongs to Nip. Now, three on one in a situation for Device to just refuse the defuse. Yeah, but it's Rez's long flank that might have him dead to rights. Device not realizing and he's surely gone. There's Rez with the flank. The defuse comes in and IP. But either way, they're going to have a tough go at it. S-Tac goes for a peek, sees a leg, can't land it. That Molotov's going to force Twist out of place. And it's going to force rest, rest tag. S tag to miss his shot. He's going to take a rest tag. Oh, that smoke is very deep. Not covering anything from Hampus at the back of the site. And he is able to light it up. One and not done. There's a second. Glaive on the box. Hampus knows. And he's got three as well from the back of B. NIP. 
Rez is being so patient and they're still sneaking up. Rez, Ooh. is he gonna get rewarded? Oh, they're right there. He sees the utility coming over. He's still alive, but there it is. Rez with one, what? but only oh. one as Dupree gets the trade very, very quickly. Nork inside of the site, putting on a bit of a show. Now is to get past Dupree and that is easier said than done. 20 points of health left on him. Taps the bomb to try and bait a peak. One man at cat, one in CT, and that's another fight given to Dupree. Tapping on the bomb now. How oh. Into the maws of Dupree he goes, and that is quite the round from this man. Nine on the board for Astralis. Rez on the car once more could be a problem. Oh, no, Sorry. they're not falling for it this time, or are they? Because they've mollied it. Rez, Ooh, big boy. Team, he gave up the aim of the game, but he's still good for a kill and even a dink onto Dupree. Magis now down in the pit. He gets dropped as well. Rez has just lit wow. them up at long and he's made this round doable. Glaive, he just had to sit back in his chair moments ago and watch as Dupree fend it off in a 1v3. Well, now he's faced with the same feat. They're asking a lot of Glaive here. Back in action, back in the server, running up to this orb at long, Hampus in the sight. And he just best Glaive straight up. Getting, of course, himself. Might be served up. Oh, yeah, but this has all gone off course here in this round as they've gone up <laughs> through the catwalk. Rez, oh, the org is just wow, tearing them no. a new one. And it's all left on to Dupree as Rez has just annihilated the rest of his team. What do you do when you do pre? You got two HP and a Deagle. You got some nice looking gloves on, man. That's pretty tasty. But is that going to help you all too much? The answer, shockingly, it's no. The day and there's no one here. Hampers just checked mid off of the timing. NIP for long. Back in for Hampers. Quick shot. Flashed out. He's going to go back for more. But the smoke is down. Now it's down to Lug. Uh, and well, it fires for both sides. Hampers hits a shot through the smoke and Dupree responds. S tag spamming back. Twist taking a lot of damage. There's a load of util for NIP. That's the benefit of Astralis taking B early. NIP haven't used any grenades, but do they get the chance to use them as more smoke spam comes through? It's a barrage for, uh, for Astralis. They've got more smokes for the door as well as long as they time them right flash from magisk he won't go out the window with it and then ip retake from three mid yeah here comes rez though at the top of tunnels this is the last round of the half there's not going to be any saving today what will the og do it will win the fight with device now tucked in quietly but not for long it's just Strauss and dupree wow. that come alive dupree continuing to reign supreme and s tag with the last kill of the round we see a 10-5 half He's been popping off this much. My goodness. Not see that org 4K? Actually, yeah, the org 4K now makes a lot of sense. Well, here's the B play Magisk. You hate players in this position. NIP hate Magisk. And they're looking to deal with him. They're looking to flush him Ooh, out. Magisk still being a nuisance. Ow. Snap down another. But they what? do finally deal with him. Still, it's three for Magisk. Three for Rez on the other side. And 24 so now, now. It's two on two. Kim is the player to watch. Because look at him go. Why aren't we watching him? <laughs> He's the player we need. <laughs> and Hampus might need support here because Device battling back with the USP. Not an easy kill, but Hampus has it under lock and key. And S tag in a clutch on B. Rez is tucked. He's trying to force the swing. He's done that. Okay. Hampus dead, but time is ticking. And no kit. Rez forces the fight. And 25 to his name with only six in the game. He is alone. Where's that bomb going? Is he going back out mid or is he going to try and split catwalk here? Hampus is so deep and Astralis don't even know either. He's hiding behind the car. Mid flash down. Dupree waiting. Double D spam the headshot on the second bullet device oh. with two of his own. And that's the bomb dropped, retrieved and secured by Dupree who comes back in from the, from the mid side. Astralis crunch NIP. This might actually be one of the weirder rounds of Counter-Strike oh. this season. So make sure you're paying attention. Oh. On to Plopski. Plopski. The twist, but also to glitch. Now, they try and put it in. I just oh, dear. <laughs> the keeper saves it once oh, again. Oh, dear. The red card's out now, Astralis. <laughs> Not fully spread it. And no realization yet. The nades are long. S tag. Not going to check it. Hampers with a swing. And that's lovely stuff. NIP for the man up once again. Back out with a flash for Glaive. Hampers are so blind. He's hoping he has support, but it comes in too late. Magis trades for two with the bomb at his feet. And Nork is low with the AWP as well. He's scoped. Magis is on the right side. Re smoked down. And that's a real problem for Nork, who just takes a timing shot. Dupree hasn't left B. The anchor <laughs> is waiting for Rez. And <laughs> Nork has run, but he's been heard as well. This is a a bittersweet round for NIP. Are we going to forget this moment though? Nork, 
in a pretty rough spot. Like, has a trillion angles to yep. check. And a trillion, that's like more than 10. And that's far more than he was prepared to check. Fall back into the drop down spot as well. They flash a player out through the mid doors. So they do get in. But look at the rotation from Astralis. There's four players in the middle. There's not even that many for an IP. Rez Ooh. with the Deagle trying to come alive. He's in with a double. Flash through for Dupree. And he gets it all back under control. Magist going to go through the smoke <laughs> into the back line. And it leaves it on Hampus. 1v2, but not an easy feat whatsoever. Both players down here. And while he does deal with the first S tag, trying to play the timing game. Ooh. Hampus oh did get God. into the B site, and he's lived to get this bomb down. But with two points of health, they are asking a lot of the little Hampus that could. Here he is, takes the peak, and s -Tag gets the better of him. I love that round for Astralis, right? Considering NIP do exactly what they wanted to do. He's ahead of the timing as nice. well. He has caught the perfect timing onto Plopski. Now he's waited, and the longer he waits, maybe Plopski turns around. But Glaive is oh. also a team board, oh. so I guess, hey. you know, uh, everything that you thought you knew about CS, forget about it, because here's Astralis just absolutely everywhere. Oh, yeah. Just because I... Oh, it's fine. Ah. What? <laughs> All right, thankfully, <laughs> Glaive was there. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, if it can happen to anyone, it can happen to Magisk as well. And there we go. Luckily enough, Glaive is there to bail him out. Nork and Twist, they have gotten the bomb down. They have given themselves a bit of a chance here. But a two on three, it's not an it's not an easy spot to be in by any stretch of the imagination, especially with this utility still in the hands hmm. of Astralis. But there's Nork in with the first, still alive at Goose. And he goes back for a little bit more. Now Magisk has brought him down. Not been able to finish the job. There's the name oh, to do it. And S Tag <laughs> is able to deal with Twist. The defuse comes in, and it's the Danes on Dust locking in their map pick. They go 1 0 up in this series. And now we move to the map pick the Swedes on trade. That's coming up in just a moment, though. You don't want to miss it. IP. They are going to take over this B-bomb site, lining up utility as we speak. Twist has a molly. Will that be a post-plant play or to clear out the site instead? Device, now's your time. Psych. Psych? It's Rez with a Glock. He takes down Device first. It's going to be an easy bomb plant for Nock. We're going to see Nip set up in a pretty sweet position to win this pistol round here and let's see if glaive and company can take it back he's gonna be hard charging with the five seven looks around the bomb train but they are all just laying in wait twist just dumps them all top from outer space and the, so far the kills have gone on the way in nips way and they're gonna continue to do just that plopsky might even end the round out he does s tag last the fall so nip cleanly pick up a pistol round it's live, guys. Don't worry. Oh, so it's the live rerun. Got it. Big nade coming out. Nox is going to catch it. Ooh. He's not the only one taking damage. Hampus, Plopsky, they're already gone. Look at these oh, deagles no. are doing oh, damn no, work can. for Astralis. And it just continues oh, to hurt. No. s -Tag wants some of his own. Twist recovers an AK, and it's going to be just two AKs alive against five here for Astralis. Man, IP, they've got control, but they're walking into a four-man setup with a pop flank on the fifth. No way of getting out. Mm. Dupree with the scout, and now it's on to Rez. Yeah. Oh. My, oh my, it's flawless. Yeah, a disaster. keep all five alive as well as win the fourth fight. Three smoke on Ivy comes at the perfect time as well. They might even have to go through it. Two CTs here though. Oh dear, Glade, that's a lot of damage. Oh, the bomb has even been dropped as well. And through this smoke, Device has the cover. <laughs> NIP, they've lost the bomb. It's all about kills at this point, and good luck getting through. Glade with a passive line, Device helping out. There's two man setup on Ivy. Another smoke spam. S Tag helps out with that, though. And Hampers alone in a one on four. That's a nice shot, but at this point, the round's done. Look at him go. Look at him go, man. Astralis. Here coming from them at the A site. Two on Ivy. Magic should work that out by the smoke. And the flash follows. He top of it. Plopsky, great shot. And he really has stepped up since that last map. Six kills in the entirety. Well, he's on five in round five. Device stuck on the site. And they're coming from all sides as well. Above the train. Hampers dead. Plopsky swings Device with a second. Surely not. Can he save this on his own? S Tag hasn't even been seen either. And he's okay. going to have the cover for the cross. Device is safe. And he's going to close it all out on his yeah. own. Three for uh, Device. And it's just out of the salt. Shaker into the pepper shaker, just like right. that. Glaive has to try and raise above it all. Ooh. He does.
does do some damage. It falls to Dupree to hold the line and hold the line he shall. Players have gone by, but Ooh. Dupree just keeps putting up numbers and finally they deal with him. But it's all left on to Rez on the side of NIP. Now he had a great Dust 2 game. And he needs to relive even a fraction of that here and now. He's trying to spot Magisk's Orp. The Orp sees him and S-Tag swings out from the connector. The only three players that had guns into this round. And here comes the B push, but the flash is great. It leaves them blind. It's actually Hampus' flashbang that blind everyone on upper. Luckily enough, him and Klopski have kind of helped out to get this back under control. One plant is going to come Ooh. in, but Magisk deletes Klopski, leaving Twist all alone in a 1v3. Yeah, it just seems favorable. And then in an instant, it's snapped back to reality and it's an awful, awkward clutch for NIP. Can Twist do it? He's been forced out by the smoke. No room to fight. In the open he goes and Dupree takes him out. Magisk is here in time. And so now device is freed up to help inside of the A site. 35 seconds. And this rotation from Magisk has just given so much more freedom to device and Dupree. And when you give a guy like Dupree freedom, you're asking for trouble. Here he is holding on to main with a double. And that leaves Twist and Nork up against it all. But Twist, he's dishing out deaths in high supply right now. Bomb plant gonna come in for NIP. And s tag spamming in the connector gives away his position. Now they know Magis there with the kill onto Twist. And it's left onto Nork. One kill to his name currently. And a 1v2 to find. s tag gonna get caught messing about with the utility, oh, but it's not pretty from Nork either. There's the shot to Magis we were looking for. And now trying to play the running game with s tag s tag oh, high no. in the sky, flying in, looking for this kill up and over. He's charging down Nork. What is going on? s tags up again now. He's down. Where's Nork even meant to be in? s tag is everywhere. <laughs> I, I think. We're going to have to watch that from perspective of S-Tag. He's going to get this defuse. That must have been some real gymnastics there from the young fella. Oh, Device could get caught out here. They do not know that Plopski is so damn deep. I don't even know how he's here. Dupree is in main. Magisk is in pop. Plopski, I guess, sl slipped his way past the smoke. They do deal with him. They try and get it back under control. It's a nice bit of damage done by Magisk. And man, every time you think NIP have got an edge, every time they get something going their way, it is just canceled out by Astralis. Nork with the Krieg. And obviously, oh, s oh, no. got it. Oh, oh dear. dear. For the lad. And here he is, holding down ramp. Flash goes in, but s tag faces it head on. And, well, he meets a pretty grim fate. But inside of the site, it's not mopped up by... Oh, no. Magis oh. tries to get it back under control, and he does get away with a lot of damage. But Nork holding the line. Leaves it all onto Device. Both these players are one shot away from death. Device's AK hits like an AWP right now. That's trying to cross back to behind the gray tray. Oops, spotted. That Molly yeah. might ruin Rez's day. Forces him out of position. He just swings it though and takes the fight straight up. NIP, they do salvage that round. And this time, they're not so quick to fight. Instead, Device is waiting for rotations. Twist has already pushed up for oil. Now he's been spotted, and Device is going to deal with him. Man, advantage back in favor of the Danes. Now, another man of oil is Plopski, and he's put up a kill, but his little feet, his little tippy toes give away that position. Nork in the sight with the AWP. He's a man on top Ooh. of the gray train, but now they're getting a little bit danger close. And Nork, yeah. none of the shots connecting. Hampus going to molly the bomb. They are on it. It would be the full 10 second defuse, and Glaive is just sticking it. Hampus spray it. Oh no, oh. 10 seconds. 10 second defuse for Astralis. Glaive just staying on the bomb, even with his teammates falling. To the list for Astralis, 11 to 3. They've gotten away with so many cheeky rounds. Glaive with another one in Pop Dog. It's a fast play for NIP into Dupree. They go, and he's always good for two, it feels like, in this A site. This round looks to be done in an instant. Device makes it so, and Astralis don't make it close. It's 12 to 3. Dominant stuff on their CT site. Harry Russell. Well, right now, it's looking like Astralis want to go fast into the A site, and they are going to have to put up quite the fight here down towards Ivy. Nork holds on to begin with, but there's more where that came from. Plopski spotted in the corner, dealt with by S-Tag, and now following up with another kill to his name. Ivy locked down by Astralis. But when Astralis are in the server, it can come knocking pretty quickly. Sees Magisk back in main. Now looking for anything else. Twist is here to help out if Hampus needs, and he... 
Yeah, yeah, there's no helping him now, is there? Glaive going up into the site. Hampus doesn't realize this is weird. Glaive doesn't know either. Ooh. And so Hampus will get the better of him. Now late from Ivy is S tag in with a third. The smoke goes down over here yeah. towards Pop. And luckily enough for Ooh, an IP, it's missed. That there might have just bailed them out of this pistol round because now they're in this 2v1 thanks to that missed smoke. Now into B. S tag with the plant at least. The bomb on his back. And even then, Ooh, yeah, he dear. took those extra few seconds, and that might cost him dearly. Yeah, he was thinking someone heard him and went back for the fight, but that's allowed time for them to get into the site. NIP wait around for no one, and quick kill from Twist. Six out of six on four spy rounds, less than 12k equipment value on Pro League, on Nuke. That was obviously on a different map, but... Yeah, even though that was broken right after he tweeted it, as is often the case, that just goes to show how many of these forces Astralis do win. But right now, the double peak is a problem, a predicament for Astralis. They can't predict success in this one device alone. Big clutch to be had, and it's not going to get given over. NIP do deal with the AKs, and that is a great start. We got our experts on the case. Are not here? They're not available? No worries. Us instead. Mad just right out of main. And already catching Rez crossing pop as well. There's an AWP on this B bomb site. Two there for NIP, and they're pushing. They're getting that info quickly, but there's S-Tag holding on. He will be dropped. Dupree now out deep, and if he stays on the sneak, he might have Twist caught. He wasn't ready for a man so far up. Plopsky is the one performer in this game, but he's already out of the round. Magis finds him as the smoke fades, and now all over A is Astralis. This double inner play didn't aggress any further than killing S-Tag, and Astralis seem aware. They're not scared of the flank. They've smoked Pop Dog and Magis will hold it, but the rest of them, oh, they've already got the info. Hampus coming in for the jiggle, dead. Magis will clean up the round. Three from the in-game leader, and Astralis on 13. McLeave, he's not a dumb man. Um. He's seen this a hundred times before. In fact, he came up with this move, and Plopsky trying to use it against him. They're both just waiting. There's the peak, and they do deal with him. Device wallbanged Rez as well. Don't know where that happened, but it did. Where was that? Through main. He, he, oh. yeah. I don't know if he was peeking or not, but dear, oh dear, the AWP for Nork. It's no scoping up close. It's calling for desperate measures. Oh, does hit a follow-up shot through the smoke. And now a player coming out of main as well with the bomb. Dupree backs off. He doesn't want to give it up. Twist is double scoped. It's a mess. And Glade falls into the firing line as quick as it becomes a problem. It's already over as Astralis find 15. They're already in connector. What can you do, man? That's what I said. Here comes Dupree, he's made it all the way to Olaf, but again, Molotovs, everybody Ooh, is going to yeah. be playing barbecue. <laughs> no smokes, they already threw them out over A, so Astralis actually couldn't save him with that one, like dropping utility to help him out. This could be a round win for an IP, as weird as that is to say, the low buy has found two kills. S-Tag finding twists through the smoke, Popsky hiding in Sandwich, Nork still in heaven, just trying to dictate damage but it's not coming his way. Hampus on the flank might knife device, but he turns around the sixth sense and he actually does get dropped, but at least denies the blade. Seven for NIP, they hold on by the skin of their teeth. And so Astralis easing into this round in a five on four. Hampus oh is trying to make it worthwhile, trying to go for an aggro peak and he does live to tell the tale. Plopsky, even on the pop dog, plop dog maybe, as he looks to take this round. Into his own hands. Dupree left at main. Hampus peeking. Didn't oh, see dear. anything, but they're already down the ramp. They're already in B. And so Hampus returns to a pretty unwelcoming site. Bomb now going down inside of the B side of the map, and Dupree can still come in on this late lurk through main into the back line. So a lot of this now rests on the shoulders of Plopsky. What can he do? He is the top performer by a big margin for an IP. And now more than ever, he's got to show us why. He's in with a double, but Glaive and Dupree still oh, standing, no. still fighting. Plopsky doesn't know where the second man is, thinks he might be upper, but he's not. He's wrapping in through main, coming in from behind. Plopsky might get shot in the back and indeed he does Dupree there to wrap it up and Astralis they make this a very quick 2-0 indeed the Danes they're looking dominant they're looking